In this video, we'll create image cropping app in Flutter. In this app, you'll able to pick images from gallery. After selecting image, you will be able to crop the image, zoom in or zoom out and you can also rotate the image. You can also crop the image using preset. You'll also be able to capture images using camera. After capturing the image, you can perform all operation like before. So, let's create this app. Open Visual Studio Code. Press F1 and type Flutter New Project. Then select Empty Application. Now select Project Folder. Now type the application name, I'll name it Image Cropper App. Our project is created. Now open pubspec.yaml file. Under dependencies section, import these two packages. Image picker and image cropper. Now copy this activity code. Now open Android folder, app, src, and then main folder. Now open Android manifest file and paste the copied code under the closing tag of this activity. Now copy the permissions code and paste it above the activity tag. Both files will be available in the description. Now open build.gradle file. Then scroll down and find default config block. Inside it, set min SDK version to 21. With this, project setup is complete. Now we need to create main page. For that, create a file inside lib folder named mainpage.dart. Also run this project as Windows app. Now, inside this file create a stateful widget. Create scaffold widget. Go to main file. Let me resize the app window. Now, set main page as home and also import its library. Now set this property to false to get rid of that annoying debug banner. Inside main page, create an app bar. Set title to image cropper. Set center title to true. Set background color to deep orange color. Set foreground color to white. Now create center widget inside body. Now create a column inside it. Set main axis size to minimum. Inside this column create a material button. Set on press property to empty method. Set child property to text widget to give this button a title. Set color to deep orange color. Set text color to white. Set padding of 20 on all sides. Now copy this whole material button. Under it, create size box, set its height to 10 to give some vertical spacing. Under it paste the copied button code. Change the title to Capture Images. With this, design of our main page is complete. Now, we need to create another page to show cropped image. For that, create a file inside the lib folder named croppedimage.dart. Inside this file, create a stateful widget. Rename it to cropped image. Create scaffold widget. Now go to main page and copy the app bar widget. And paste it inside the scaffold. Now create the body, but first go up here. And create the property of type cropped file. And name it image. This cropped file property comes from image cropper package, so import its library. Now make this property required inside the constructor. Now inside body, create center widget. Inside it, 
create padding widget, and give some padding on all sides. Inside it, create interactive viewer widget. Inside create image widget, set image property to file image. Pass file to it. Inside it pass the path of the image which comes from this widget. This file widget comes from Dart.io library, so import it too. Also change the app bar title to cropped image if you want. With this, this page is complete. Now, we need to create two methods, one to pick images and second to crop images. For that, open main page. Now go up here, and create a method of void return type, name it pick image. Pass it boolean variable named pick gallery images as parameter. Inside it, create object of image picker class, and name it picker. Image picker comes from image picker package, so import its library. Now create a nullable property of x file type named image. Then use if statement, inside condition check if pick gallery images is true. Inside it, use image property, and set equal to picker.pick image method. Set image source to gallery and pass it to this method. Then create else block, and inside it, use the image property, and set it to same pick image method from picker. But set image source to camera this time. Now go to pick gallery images button, inside its method, call the pick images method, and pass true as a parameter. Now go to capture camera images button, inside its method, call the pick images method again, but pass false as a parameter to it. Inside pick image method, use if statement to check if image is not null. Inside it, create a property named cropped image, and set it equal to crop image method, and pass image property to this method. Now under pick image method, create a method of return type future cropped file. Name it crop image, pass x file property named image as a parameter to it, make this method async. Cropped file type comes from image cropper package, so import it. Inside this method, create a property named cropped image, and set it equal to crop image method which comes from image cropper class. Set source path to image path. After that, use aspect ratio presets property and pass a list to it. Inside this list, create some presets. I'll keep original and center to make it look good. After this, use UI settings property, pass a list to it. Inside this list, use Android UI settings method. Inside it, set toolbar color to deep orange color. Set toolbar title to crop image. Set toolbar widget color to white color. Set initial aspect ratio to original aspect ratio. Set lock aspect ratio to false. After that, create iOS UI settings method. Inside it, set title to crop image. And then, return cropped file property, also use exclamation mark because it's nullable. After that come back to pick image method, Now use navigator.push method to redirect to cropped image page. Now pass cropped image to this page. With that, our methods are complete. Now let's run this app on real device. And our app is up and running on real device. 
Let's pick an image from gallery to crop. As you can see, we are able crop it manually. Press OK, and this is our cropped image. Now, pick this image again, and you can see that we can use the presets to crop the images. Now let's capture the image using camera. Capture the image, and we are able to crop this image too. Project is uploaded on GitHub. You can download it from there. Link will be available in the description. With that, this video comes to an end. Don't forget to like this video and share it with others. Subscribe our channel for more videos. Finally, thanks for watching.